Next medication we're going to talk about, and this is a lot like Ganarelix that I just spoke about, is Cetratide. Um, again, some of you will see Cetratide. Uh, and again, Cetratide and Ganarelix, just in case you find that you've got some Ganarelix at home, but your calendar says Cetratide or vice versa, Ganarelix and Cetratide are the same medications. Um, most physicians do let them uh, be utilized interchangeably. So check with your physician or your nurse, but most don't mind that. Cetratide is a medication that's going to be, like Ganarelix, turning off those pituitary uh, hormones. It is either you start it in the beginning, uh, maybe at half dose, maybe at full dose. Sometimes you don't start it till after you're already growing follicles. Again, everybody's calendar is a little bit different. But here's what you're going to get. You're going to get a box of Cetratide. First thing I'm going to point out is it says 0.25 milligrams on it. Now your calendar is going to say either 250 micrograms or 125 micrograms. Same idea with that Ganarelix. You either do full dose or half dose or sometimes you do both. 0.25 milligrams is the same thing as 250 micrograms. All right, so when you open up your Cetratide, here's what we get. Again, pretty handy. You actually get a syringe pre-filled with the water and I get a vial of powder. I get a couple of needles to attach and there you go. This is how easy it is to mix. I'll also go ahead and I'll show how we're going to mix it and utilize it if we only do half dose. Now this just peels right on open. Comes with a couple of alcohols. Comes with a little small needle which we like and it comes with a bigger needle. Because oftentimes a lot of what you see us do is you see us using these big needles because it makes it easier to mix things. We don't inject with them, mostly. Now, what you've got here is a syringe, like I said, filled with water and a little vial of powder. Now, if you're somebody who's going to be doing full dose, it's going to be easy enough. There's our powder right there. And again, this little cap just flip right off. And I'm just going to inject this water right into that powder. Of course, one of the first things you're going to see here is there's no needle on this. So again, I go with the bigger needle. In this case, they've given us a 20 gauge needle just because it makes things easier. This just peels apart. And this just screws right on there. There we go. Don't be afraid, big needle. And I'm just going to inject this water right into the powder. Now, if I just open that, I might not be vigilant about the alcohol. Doesn't hurt to always do it again, though. Just want to keep things clean. This needle's going right in there, and we are just going to inject this water right in. And you'll want to just give it a minute. It'll all dissolve soon enough to inject it all in there. Now, oftentimes when I do this, I do a little trick. I leave this right in place like this. Now, it's just busy down there dissolving. But when I injected this water in here, it created a lot of pressure. And sometimes, and later on with a different medication, you'll see this, if I weren't allow to allow that pressure to stabilize, I'd find that the next time I stuck a needle in there, I'd get a bunch of medication spraying out. So that's just pushed a bunch of air back into that, and that tells me this is stabilized. But you can see now, there, Give it a minute, like I said, you could swirl it around. You don't ever want to shake these things violently or anything. Just swirl them around, let them sit there. Now, in the meantime, I've, there's that air there. Okay. Now, with that big needle still on there, I'm just waiting for this guy to dissolve. And again, he does. And just because I'm going to be fanatical, I'll go ahead and I'll give that another clean. And with the big needle, all I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw all this medication right back in here. You can see there really isn't a lot of measuring here. Whatever the water is and whatever the powder is, that is my injection of Cetratide. So there's not a lot of thinking that we have to do here. Put that needle right back in. There's where if I didn't let that air stabilize, I would have got a bunch of spray possibly um, when uh, sticking that needle in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to empty this vial. Now you can see there's my needle. Pay attention to where your needle is in the fluid because of course a uh, needle can be in it. It's way up here. I'm not going to get any medication out. So I want to make sure as I empty this vial, I keep my needle in the medication. Now, right, there's a little rubber stopper in there, and there's usually a little slit there, so you can see a little bit better about where your needle's going to be. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue to pull down, and I'm going to withdraw out this medication. Turn that slit so I can see it there.
And sometimes you're playing with it and you're going back and forth. Take your time. Don't get frustrated. You're not doing anything wrong. I've done this a long time. It takes me a few minutes. Just slowly. There we go. I'm getting it all. Now, all of this stuff has overfill in it. If you sat here and you try to get every last drop, well, you'd be here all day. Don't need to do it like that. Now, now it's all ready to go. Now, of course, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to take that big old needle off. So I'm just going to I'm going to pull down on the plunger. I'm going to get all the medication down into the syringe there and out of that needle. And I'm going to recap this big needle, get rid of that. And you should always have in your medications a, usually it's a red plastic box for, we call it a sharps container to put all of your disposable needles in that. I'm going to open up a much friendlier, this is our little needle, it's actually a little 27 gauge needle. Just, just like the needles for the Lupron and the Ghana Relics, it's a sub-Q needle. We'll attach this little needle. And this will look familiar. There we go. Now I'm just going to want to get that air out. So I always just push up a little bit on the plunger until I see that first drop of fluid. Again, if you had, if you had a little bit of air that got in you in a shot, it's not going to hurt you at all. There we go. Got it all ready to go. And you know my rule. Get that ready. Set that down. Then we're going to take care of getting you ready. You decide again, tummy or leg, little sub-Q injection. Now that's cetratide if we're doing it full strength. Now, in a minute, I'm going to show you how to actually split it.